Welcome to SportsCenter. Jays Rangers Game 5 winner advances to the ALCS. Only two teams have ever won a best of five series after losing the first two at home. Marcus Stroman on the hill despite making just five starts this year. Down 2-1 in the fourth facing Josh Hamilton. 2-2 again and a swing and a fly ball to shallow left center field. Racing in Pilar and a headlong diving catch for the outs. Stroman applauding from the mound. Kevin Pilar has done this time and time again. Pilar saves a hit and leaves his mark on the turf in the process. Now over in the sixth, Stroman still in. Runner on second with two away. Elvis Andrus hits it up the middle, but Ryan Goins makes a great play for the out. Stroman went six innings, giving up two earned on six hits, keeping the Jays in it. Down just one in the bottom half now. the bottom of the sixth. And the pitch. And a swing and a rocket. This ball's hit a ton, and this game is tied. Encarnacion just took the parrot for a walk. Encarnacion takes Cole Hamels deep for his first career playoff home run. It is 2-2. Aaron Sanchez in for the seventh inning now. And with Rugnet Odor over on third after a ball, Russell Martin, watch this, hits Sin Su Chu with the throw back to the mound. The ball rolls up the third baseline. Odor thinks the ball's in play and he runs home. But the play was called dead by the home plate umpire. However, Texas, they think that that run should have counted so they ask the umpires to talk this one over they do and after the discussion they allow the run to stand the rule says that if the batter is in the box and the umpire judges the batter not to intentionally interfere the ball is alive so texas takes a 3-2 lead on the error by martin the jays uh, they're pretty fired up at this point letting the umpire hear it michael saunders actually gets tossed from the dugout in the process well the crowd at the rogers center they weren't overly pleased either they begin to throw objects onto the field it just got ridiculous beer cans from the 500s were landing on people in the 100 the jays staff and players pleading with the fans to stop throwing things on the field the umpires would eventually review the play, but the ruling would stand. So Givens comes back out, letting the umpires know the Jays are playing under protest now. The game, far from over. Bottom half of the seventh we go. Russell Martin leading off. Martin hits a grounder over to short, but Andrew's going to boot it off his glove. The air allows Martin to reach. Next up, Kevin Pillar. Pillar? Chops it over the right side. Mitch Moreland throws over to second, but it's in the dirt. Andrus can't dig it out. It's a fielder's choice and another error. The Jays with two on. Up comes Ryan Goins. Goins. He bunts it. Adrian Beltre throws over to third. Looks to be in time, but Andrus actually drops it. Everyone is safe. The third straight error by Texas loads the bases for Ben Revere. He's jammed, and the Rangers get the out at the plate they try to turn two but pinch runner dalton pompey takes out catcher chris jimenez with the aggressive slide leaving the bases loaded with just one away for josh donaldson the bringer of rain loops one over to second just out of the reach of odor for a base hit pilar's gonna score donaldson's got his fourth rbi of the series we are all tied up once again and the inning not done still two on for jose bautista the 1-1. One, one. Bautista drives it deep left field. Goal! You can only flirt with fire for so long. And it's going to burn you. Bautista in his first career playoff series. Make sure it's a massive bat flip this time. The three-run shot, the second home run of the series. Now has five RBI in the ALDS. The Jays take their first lead of the game. It is 6-3. But before Encarnacion could bat, he asked the crowd to calm down as fans continue to throw things on the field. Rangers pitcher Sam Dyson, who gave up the home run to Bautista, then has a few words for Encarnacion at the plate. Things get a little heated here. After a lengthy exchange, both benches would clear Bautista at the forefront, gets in the middle of the argument. He actually had to be pulled away from the pile at one point. 
Now they finally would get back to some baseball. And Troy Tulowitzki pops out into foul territory, finally ending the 53 minute long inning. But after the pitch, Dyson gives him a pat on the butt. Tulo takes exception, and for the second time, the bench is clear. What a seventh inning. One you will never forget. We will not. Now to the eighth we go with one on and one out. Sanchez walks Moreland. So Gibbons takes him out for the 20-year-old Roberto Osuna. Osuna needing five outs. Starts off by striking out Josh Hamilton. Then ends the threat. Going to sit down Andrus to finish the game. Finish off the inning. The Jays now just three outs away from their first playoff series win in 22 years. First up. Odor lines out to Goins over at second. And then Osuna going to calmly strike out Mike Napoli. Now just one out away from advancing to the ALCS. It's the game's tying run. But it's the Blue Jays who are strike away. Three and two the count. The pitch. Swing and a miss and it's over. The Toronto Blue Jays have defeated the Texas Rangers in five games and they are headed to the American League Championship Series. Jays win 6-3, becoming just the third team to win a five-game series after losing the first two at home, advancing to the ALCS. So Jose Bautista joins none other than Joe Carter as the only Blue Jays to hit a go-ahead three-run homer in the postseason. Edwin Encarnacion becomes the sixth different Blue Jay player to homer this postseason, and the Jays led the majors with 18 wins in games where they trailed after the first inning this season. Here is Joey Bats on his game-winning home run. I knew I did something great for the team, and that's it. Um, I don't remember much after after that until I ran to the base and got to the dugout. That's when I kind of started coming to again. I think it's it's uh, it's very rewarding for this group. You know, we we thought we were too good to bow out in the first round, but you know they were just as good over there. I mean, it, whoever wins this game is going to be a good representative, I think, in the next round. Uh, but it, you know, it's, it's special for these guys, and especially really special for everybody around here. You know, and because it's been so long. Wow, that game. I don't even know where it's going to rank, but that was just insane. I'm just glad we won. I'm mentally and physically drained from that game today. I mean, that took a lot out of me, and I think it took a lot out of everybody, but for us to come on the winning side of it is, is pretty amazing. Take it to the toe, man. Take it to the toe. Just love it. Eat it. Get it. Where's the ace of base at? I never seen a man with a team on his back, though. Real talk. He's an animal. King of Pop. So as the Jays clinch their first postseason series win since 93, the fans at Nathan Phillips Square in downtown Toronto celebrated postgame at Packed House also over at Real Sports in the city as the Jays become just the third team to win a divisional series after losing the first two games at home.